guys, Shane Sorens with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you the ROM that I've been running on my Nexus 7. This is a Rasbean Jelly. Uh, it's one of the more popular ROMs on XDA. It's gotten about 150,000 views. Lots and lots of people have downloaded and installed this ROM. Uh, and it tends to be one of my favorites. It's not packed full of features like AOKP or Paranoid Android, but it is a clean, stable, uh, basically it's a stock build. This is the handiwork of developer Raz Carlo. So basically this is just his personal build, um, his preferences that he likes for his devices that he has released to the public. So we'll go ahead and jump into settings and we'll look at about tablet. Uh, now this is basically it's stock 4.2.2 with some tweaks and mods for performance and battery life. And then of course it includes this theme as well, this Rasbean theme, uh, which is basically just blue everything. The framework has basically been turned into a blue color, which we'll kind of get to that as we go. You'll see here the Android version is 4.2.2, build number is JDQ39, and this is running the stock kernel. Now he did suggest that if you wanted to, you could stock a... Uh, modified kernel like the Trinity kernel is the one that he suggested. I just stuck with the stock kernel. Uh, with the stock kernel I'm getting quadrant scores of about 3600 but I'm sure that number would increase if you went with the Trinity kernel and you may even see some improved uh, battery life even with the Trinity kernel. Of course you'd be able to overclock if you flash that as well. Uh, for me there's no reason to overclock. This ROM runs plenty fast. You guys can see how smooth it is. Uh, so just so you guys can see we'll uh, look at some of the framework here. So you guys can see the framework has been themed out there. If we bring up the keyboard, you guys can see that it has been themed as well. And it looks really sharp. It's kind of been inverted with that extra blue theming. I like that a lot. Now he does include a few customization options, so we'll go ahead and run over those real quick. So we'll bring up the settings. And we'll go to build tweaks under Rasbean Jelly. We have some status bar modifications. Uh, we can choose to show the clock or disable the clock. We can add or remove an AM PM style and we can change the battery status style. I prefer percentage, but you could also go with circle with percentage or just circle. Or you could go with the stock icon or hide it all together. Then we have the navigation bar modifications. You can change the uh, buttons. Now normally it's back, home, and menu, but I've kind of had, I've kind of changed mine uh, to menu, home, and back because this is what I'm most comfortable with after using the Samsung products, you know, the Galaxy Note 2, the Galaxy S3, so forth and so on. But the way you would do that is you would choose button customizations and you would unlock it here and then you can edit everything here. You can actually press and hold <coughs> and you can choose to make that your menu button or your search button like so or you could remove the button altogether and then just relock it when you're done you can also change the height to give yourself more screen real estate like so Then we have the lock screen shortcuts. Uh, the way you would modify this is you would drag to the target, choose an application, and click save. Now whenever you go to the lock screen, you'll be able to swipe up to that application like so. And then we have volume rocker behaviors. So you can change the volume rocker music controls. You can turn those on so when your screen is off, if you're running a music application, you'll be able to navigate through the tracks using your volume rocker. And then you also have volume rocker wake. If you want to wake up the device with the volume rocker, you can do that. And one thing that he's added, which I like a lot, is the volume key cursor control. If you do a lot of editing or um, if you do a lot of text messaging, it's nice to be able just to scroll to wherever you want to go with the cursor using your volume buttons uh, rather than having to pinpoint the correct place. So that's a nice feature there as well. Other than that, there's not many more modifications. It is just a very clean, very stable uh, version of Android 4.2.2 for your Galaxy Nexus uh, with just a few customizations and uh, some modifications to improve performance. 
Uh, one other thing that I noticed before we get started on the installation, there's an option here for expanded desktop, which you guys know that's for Pi Control, uh, but I didn't find anywhere in the ROM where you could enable Pi Control. I didn't see any Pi Control settings or anything like that. Uh, so if it's hidden somewhere in this ROM, you guys should let me know in the comment section. Uh, but I thought that was interesting that the expanded desktop was there, but there were no Pi Control settings. Uh, so I don't know if maybe that's coming in the future. We'll go ahead and reboot to recovery. And you'll need to make sure that you grab the ROM file and also the G apps from the link that's just below the like button. Go ahead and download those to your Nexus 7. Okay, from here we will wipe. Factory reset, swipe to wipe. Cache, swipe to wipe. Davit cache, swipe to wipe. When you're finished with that, we'll go back and hit install. So in our download photo, we're looking for Raz Bean Jelly, Raz Carlo Grouper. The latest build is March 4th, so we'll go ahead and select that. Swipe to Flash. When you're finished, uh, you're looking for the G Apps RBJ uh, March 4th. We'll go ahead and make sure that's what we're flashing and swipe to Flash. Give that about five minutes to install, and then we'll go back and reboot the system. And we're left with a custom... Android boot animation it is just the stock Android boot animation that you're familiar with from several years ago. <clears throat> Nothing fancy here. Anyways, guys, this has been the Raz Bean Jelly ROM. Uh, this has been my review plus install guide. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button. For more videos like this in the future, be sure that you're subscribed to this channel. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve S-Off or Security Off on your HTC Droid DNA. This method is brought to you.